Now, as we move forward, it was both tears and fond memories at the late Fidel Odinga's funeral service that was held today as family, friends and leaders recounted moments of his life. President Uhuru Kenyatta, Deputy President William Ruto and court leaders were among dignitaries from across the political divide who attended the service. Rilo Dinger's, the service for Rilo Dinger's son. And as Katie and Sharon Momani reports, the importance of unity was the resounding message at the ceremony. United in grief, Leaders from across political causes joined the Odinga family this Thursday afternoon at the All Saints Cathedral for the funeral service of their deceased son. And they all sang one tune. <laughs> Fare thee well, Fidel Castro Macarius Odiambo Odinga. His passing on is not only a loss to his wife, and family and parents. It's a loss to the wider Kenyan family. Man who knew how to cross the political divide, the ethnic divide, the religious divide, a man who bore no grudges, a man who had no bitterness, a man who could easily congratulate you on the one hand and be a, your competitor on the other. I would like to begin by thanking everybody for being here. Um, emotions would run high as family members took to the podium to eulogize their loved one gone too soon. Fidel's widow, Luam Gatashiu, writing Fidel a letter that she hoped to read but just could not. I'll read it on her behalf. Fidel, as I said, loved me. He loved his father. Amongst all the four of them, Fidel's the only one who calls me mommy up to the time when, he's, when he left us. What we need to do is to celebrate his life. Many people have spoken very lofty words and paid tribute to Fidel. Um, and therefore, it's actually, it cannot be that every one of them is lying. At least some of them are saying the truth. Former President Mwai Kibaki also sent his tribute in which he described Fidel as a man who had a horizon full of opportunities before him. A little politics could not be avoided, with Fidel's uncle, Dr. Oburu Odinga, urging that in the same spirit that the leaders would sit and mourn together, so should they hold the long-debated dialogue. I'm appealing to the political leadership of our country, both our coalition and the coalition which is in government, to use this Fidel's death, because I can see the president and the deputy president have been together with us. And occasions sometimes like this are the ones which bring people together. The Vice President had mentioned it, and I hope that the death of Fidel will unite this country, and from now on, what we missed previously, which is called dialogue, will start. I have no issue whatsoever in sitting down and talking and bringing people together. This is no problem. <laughs> All we need to understand is that we need one another and we need less of shouting at one another and more of talking with one another. The final destination will be at the family's home in Bondo where Fidel will be buried on Saturday the 10th of January next to his grandfather's grave, the late Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. The emotional funeral service is one that brought together guests and leaders from across political and tribal divide. And that is what formed the resounding message given during the service today. Sharon Momani, KTN at the All Saints Cathedral Church, Nairobi.